because I'm a Cody Co fan, uh, I figured I would do my own rendition of Fuck These Comments. So we're gonna do Fuck These Comments, uh, Detroit Urban Survival Training Edition. So uh, let's get right into the video. All right, so about a week ago, well, almost two weeks ago now, I dropped a video on uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Dale Brown. <laughs> but it was like working for him. Uh, and since I'm a smaller channel on this platform, I like to reach out to everyone in the comments because I think it, that's the reason why we make videos like this is to just talk with the audience. So that's what I'm here to do is respond to some comments that I thought were, uh, you'll see. All right, so I got the laptop ready uh, and I got some comments pinned. So let's go over a few, start off with a couple softball ones and then let's get into it. Okay, let's go. All right, Brittany P says, yeah, He's a terrible everything, and he's not even a good businessman, really. Well, Brittany P., uh, Dale has been a businessman or in this line of work for 20 plus years with revenue um, stacking up through the roof at the moment. He's being featured on uh, No Jumper. Uh, he's going to sneaker stores. He's wearing Balenciagas. Him and his wife have matching Balenciaga sneakers. So he must be doing something right as a businessman. And Diego being the absolute bamf that he is, being the people's champion, comments this jewel right here. Four minute, 30 seconds to skip the intro. Y'all welcome. Okay. I think we need people like that. I mean, I did say in the beginning of the video uh, that it's gonna be a little bit long. So uh, I did have a disclaimer though there, Diego, but you are the people's champ, so kudos to you on that. And this one, this one kind of got me, I kind of don't know how to dissect it. So maybe you guys can help me in the comments section. Eric Rodriguez writes, you are for sure a class act. Always wondered what this guy, Dale, I don't know what, Dale, like it, like he's got an alias or something. And I, don't, I don't get it. What this guy, Dale, was about. It's interesting. Uh, well, Mr. Rodriguez, uh, I, don't, I don't know what you mean by that. So uh, on to the next one. Mm. And I love super positive comments from 69 Hellboy 69. Man, you are videos. Oh, and that starts off, you know, it's gonna be good. Man, your videos are as dumb as his, period. But longer and more boring. Uh, well, um, Mr. Miz, Zimzer, uh, 69, Hellboy 69, uh, I'm sorry. You can't please them all, but good grammar, by the way. And this nice gem coming from our buddy, Ray Romano. Man, dot, 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 get to the point. Thumbs down, dislike. Well, Ray, uh, lucky for you, uh, Thanos snapped the dislike button out of existence. So uh, there's always that. Oh yeah, speaking of Thanos, Thanos writes in the comments, only a true soy boy would see other people as pretend alphas. Well, Mr. Thanos, uh, me being the gentleman that I am, I kind of don't keep up with the time, so I don't know what the term soy boy means. So I kind of had to Google it. Wikipedia, soy boy, a term often used in online communities to describe men lacking muscular characteristics. Really? Thanos, I, am, I don't have muscular characteristics. I, I, I know I'm in a hoodie, but I'm not gonna take it out. This, this isn't muscular characteristics. This is a soy boy? Colt 10 millimeter, which is an amazing caliber, by the way. Security writes, if you worked or worked for dust, you have no, what's up with these people? Job, nor serious mission employed by, god damn. No, God, please, no, no. The US government and in Poland, like you claimed. If you were seriously on a mission for the government, you wouldn't be all over social media like this, dot, 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 dot. Maybe you're training some Polish senior citizens in self-defense classes at a care home. Why? That's, a, that's like a reoccurring thing here is, I don't know why people go on the internet uh, and they watch a video, they consume content and automatically everything is just uh, prove me wrong. It, it's guilty until proven innocent, not innocent until proven guilty. Like you automatically think if I say one thing or somebody online says one thing, you automatically like discredit it. That's like a reoccurring theme uh, in my video, on my channel, really. Like this gem of a comment from our boy, Peter. A lot more nicer? That tells me half about what it takes to... Wait a minute. Again, again, with the quotations. 
work for the US government. You don't needs have to graduate, graduate from thirds grades. Well, Pete, um, I usually don't do this, but block out my name. There you go. Legit, look, this is actually real. GS11, you, you, can't, you can't fake this. This isn't like Dale Brown and his little fake little badge thing that he wears for no reason. No, this is a legit CAC. There you go. So, lay it to rest. I do work for the US government. I do have an army rank, GS11. Go look it up, do some research. But, you know, they're not all that bad. Uh, I got some good positive ones, uh, like this one right here. Chris writes, <laughs> You should work for Marvel. I can see you in the MCU. We need more positive people like Chris. Ashton um, might be predicting the future just a little bit. Ashton writes, this can legit be made into a Tiger King spinoff. <laughs> well, Ashton, uh, if you kept up with Dale's posting, he made a video with Snoop Dogg and according to Snoop Dogg, yeah, I, I think they're going to make a, uh, a TV show, so that might be uh, a reality. One of my favorite comments from Ushnik. Ushnik writes, you look like Dale's white twin brother. What? How do you see the, res how do you see the resemblance? You guys are amazing. Now, one of the comments that really like, it's so one of the things that people kept commenting on that entire video, um, you guys are gonna be surprised on this, is not just like shitting on Dale, you know what I'm saying? Everyone says he's a fraud and blah, 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 we know. One of the comments that, that multiple people have asked is not about Dale at all. It's, a, it's about my blade. So for everybody asking about it, this is by a company called CRKT, and this is their Provoke blade. So what it is, is I'll do it slow. It's their morphing karambit. And it's got a tab uh, right here that you pull back and you pull the blade down. So in real time, you can just deploy it that way or deploy it this way. Or if you're good on the draw, deploy it like that. It's to provoke by CRKT. All right, back to the negative Nancy's. Brad writes, I listened for 38 sec, cute earrings. Brad says he likes, he likes my earrings. Thanks, Brad. I get when people watch these videos, they get very emotional and they just fucking, they don't check their grammar, they don't check their spelling, but this one kind of got to me a little bit. I kind of just don't, how you, how do you miss the mark this bad? Martin writes, come on, man, dot, dot, dot. Kung Fu Panda has better moves and didn't talk shit about Chris Kyle. Chris Kyle. You missed, it, it's literally like Google is at the tip of your fingertips. You can't just type in Chris Kyle, American Sniper, and just see how to correctly spell the man's name. Kung Fu Panda would've got that spelling right. Francisco writes, he looks like Mr. Potato Head. I don't know if he's talking about me or Dale, but okay. Mr. Martin writes, I guess all dust employees have to talk with their hands an unnecessary amount. Where you see Austin, I don't know of any other employees, ex-employees that Dale has had that speaks with their hands. So if you do know, please tag them in this video so I can see them. Thank you. Now, some people have commented that, uh, what does Dale think about this? Well, the funny thing is that Dale actually commented on that video a few times. Uh, and being the big brain uh, legend that Dale is, uh, he commented some very good things. First thing he commented was, and I actually pinned it uh, to the video. He commented saying that he liked the video, uh, he respects the fact that I gave him respect, um, that he respects me. He said I was always a good employee and I learned that he learned a lot about health uh, from me that he still used to this day. So I thought that comment was awesome. I pinned it to the top of the comments. Um, and Dale being the big brain legend that he is, deleted it, just gone. Okay. <laughs> Dale commented on it a couple more times, but uh, he ultimately deleted majority of his comments. Left one or two up there, but Dale does what Dale wants, and that's basically it.
But I did talk to Dale. I commented on one of his videos that he posted recently. I asked if I could be one of his little, in his little demo videos. And uh, he said, pretty much hit him up whenever I come back into town. So uh, you guys will see a video on that probably come in the summertime somewhat. So that's, that's in the works. So be on the lookout for that. All right. And one of the people that I want to highlight in this entire video is somebody that, uh, that made me laugh. Some of that made me laugh more than anybody in the comments section. And it is the man called Terribly Tactical. Terribly Tactical, right? Terribly Tactical, uh, this, this gentleman wrote numerous times. Um, I think he wrote two or three different comments. Uh, let's get to his first one right now. How much did he pay your mark ass? Uh, nothing. The, the thing is with, with me uh, versus the rest of the internet is I'm not looking for validation. I don't put videos out to internet to, to seek validation from people. Um, I don't need everybody's blessing to do things. I don't at all. But also I leave my emotions out of it and I speak from a more professional, humble standpoint. That makes sense. When I made that video, I was speaking truly from, from my experience because I feel like out of all these comments, out of all the Dale's comments that he gets on all of his videos, uh, all the comments that everyone else trashing them gets on their videos, just making fun of them. I feel like I'm the only one truly that has met him, that has known him, that actually made a video. Uh, minus the people that he's done demos with. But this is beyond just training standpoints and sitting down having conversations with the man. And I, I still respect the man to this day. So I'll say it once and I'll say it again. Yes, I disagree with a lot of things. Like the time that he says that he doesn't suggest people carry one in the chamber uh, because that leads to accidents. I firmly don't believe that at all. And I actually commented on that video when he did post it. I feel like it has to do with much like his weapons disarms. It has to do a lot with training. I don't mean to do the Dale. It has to do a lot with training. So you need to train to have one in the chamber uh, instead of do like an Israeli draw. So Israeli draw is, it, it's like a three movement. So it's a one, so two, you're putting your, your index finger and your thumb on the slide. And then three is you're racking the slide and you're pushing out at the same time. So it's, it's one, two, three. That for CQC kind of situations isn't really the best. And since he is a uh, CQC kind of person, he does like, you know, hand to hand, so you gotta be close. Doing that, if someone's a hand's length in front of you, do you think someone's gonna actually gonna let you draw and pull at the same time? No, you gotta be ready to go. So I always advocate for obviously training, but if you have one in the chamber, you can easily draw from here. And you see a lot of people training like this, they'll have a go for the eyes and then draw from here and then fire, 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 and then draw down. So there's certain things that I agree with him with, some things that I don't. Like I think some of his tactics works. If you guys watch uh, his actual videos that he's putting out, he's doing demos with actual martial artists that he's not paying. He's doing videos with police officers and they're actually confirming that his tactics do work. So unlike Mr. Terrible Tactical over here, or terribly tactical, uh, he didn't pay me anything. And then the other gem uh, that Mr. Tactical wrote was, you don't look threatening at all, Mr. Man Bun and tool ass tribal tech boy. I mean, I had a thumbs that up and hard it because that made me giggle a little bit because I always crack on my tribal tattoos and that's why I'm removing them because no one really likes douchey 90s tribal tattoos. So yeah, but talking about the man bun thing, man bun, huh? Somebody tell Alan from Hangover 2 to uh, just simmer down just a little bit. Please stop. All right, and then we'll get to one more thing from Mr. Tactical. He did have one more thing to say to me. I just have zero tolerance for BS and you're apparently spreading it. LOL, pathetic, bro. Huh, you have zero tolerance for spreading BS. Let's see the stuff that you spread, Mr. Tactical. Yeah, <laughs> boy. All right, so uh, scrolling on your page, okay. Okay, 19,000 plus subs, 1,700 videos. Okay, off to a good start. Let's see. Oh, not a lot of views though. Oh, weird. Let's scroll down some. 160, uh, 280, two, three. Let's scroll down some more. 10 days out, no, not even 300 views. Let's go, let's go down to a month. 281 views, 116 views. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you know this, but you're not getting a lot of a lot of views, buddy. You have 19,000 subs. Weird. Oh, shut up. Oh. 
shot to find a dead body and a pile of cocaine. Okay. Uh, yes, I washed my hands. All right, yeah, uh, I just wanted to point some things out, call some people out on their BS because apparently I'm spreading BS when this guy's buying his sub count. So the thing I want you guys to take away from this video is don't look for validation anywhere on the internet. Don't look for random strangers to validate you, to make you feel good, warm and fuzzy inside. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Say what's on your mind, but say it tactically, say it professionally and just enjoy life. I don't take life serious. I just want you guys to enjoy it just like I do. And, uh, you guys enjoy your weekend, man. See you guys in the next one. Peace. It's modern segregation. This is setting up a civil war. Burn the circus down, cause the world is full of clowns. They're all stupid and they're proud. Painted smiles on their mouths. I don't hang with bozos, homie. I can't be around you. Anyone who knows me knows my feet don't fit in class.